welcome to click my project twitter data analysis by means of strong flipping generalized item setter the modified data is a new method for strong flipping generalized item sets in twitter data streams abstract the subset superset and the parent child relationship among generalized item sets are introduced to present the different views of generalized item sets the lattice of generalized item sets and the taxonomies of key generalized item sets respectively we aim at discovering contrasting situations by means of generalized item sets the strong flipping generalized item set sfgi is extracted from twitter messages on the contextual information supplied with the taxonomy hierarchies each generalized item set is generalized by a correlation type according to the strength of the correlation among its items proposed system it aims at analyzing twitter posts to discover subset of frequent generalized item set that potentially represent contrasting situations it utilizes these constraints to speed up the mining of all generalized frequent item set the performance and scalability of the adopted mining strategy have been evaluated on real and synthetic data sets twitter post to discover subsets of a frequent generalized item set that potentially represent contrasting situation data flow diagram now data set collection data set collection then we are going to get the data sets from our system then tfc analyzer then moves to level sharing data set item sets then it moves into flipping generalized item set again it moves to taxonomy generations of finally performing process validations from here i'm going to running the project with twitter data analysis by means of strong flipping generalized item sets now i'm going to click the enter button it moves to next frame here the next frame i'm going to register my system First, I'm going to enter the first name and the last name, mobile number, email ID, and the password. Re-enter the password and the date of birth gender now i'm going to draft me data to be entered now i'm going to log in the process and the password i'm going to enter here next i'm going to it connected to next frame here i'm going to connect it to next frame now I'm going to browse the data set from my system. The data set I'm going to get. Here I'm going to get the raw data. Then I'm going to load the data set from my to the database. And here I'm display the data. Set. I'm clicking next button goes to next frame and I'm getting raw data then pre-processing pre-processing is a remover of unwanted data see here the ID having two, two IDs are seen here here the data is to be removed here one value is only here getting I'm clicking next button it moves to next frame and changing the values as HTTP to www the select testing is not processing um, that means uh, we are select the data so from my system and the change change the data so www to http to www and I'm clicking next button and I'm getting the sports these are sports and the music then cinema here I'm getting the weakest data of uh, sports in the get cinemas weakest cinemas and the weakest music and I'm clicking next button here I'm getting the queries um, the queries and music music item sets and the sports item set and the cinema item sets and I'm clicking next button it moves to next frame that means that is a flipping correlation then uh, clicking TIT that means a serial number and I see you I'll see I'm getting the log values and support confidence value I'm getting then I'm clicking next here correlation values I'm going to get 
in threshold values and getting the initial threshold values I'm going to calculate it. then max score values here I'm going to calculate when I'm clicking next button it wants to get the frequency of the rules and features and confidence and list values then graph value I'm getting the scalability analysis comparisons between max and min values number of SFGs and correlations then I'm clicking sports here can take the number of party items so correlations and negative correlations here also I'm getting the correlations and negative correlations, number of data, so aggregate relations. Here I'm getting the cinema values of category, the number of data, so correlations and negative correlations. So thank you. Now I'm going to run the phase two project first. I'm going to get the data sets from one system. Data sets and pre-process data. So then here next going to next log ID, log values and profit values. Then clicking next button. Here I'm getting the item values. Then utilization items. Here I'm having the ID system E, system B, system C and D and E five values. Here I'm having. Then here the I1, I2 value, I1, I2 um, values. I'm here I'm having the values of purchasing the details. Then get data. Better transaction data is saved in database. Then weighted values here I am going to get the minimum values. Here in the system E to system E having the minimum values of system B. I am getting system B. Like that in every values I am getting the minimum values. Then maximum weight values I am having here. Then here in this process maximum value is system C. Here maximum value is system C. So here 89 is a maximum value. So here so I am getting system E like that then i'm getting supporting values then i'm clicking next button it moves to next process here i'm getting level one values and level two values and level three values then i'm clicking next button here i'm going to extract the data clicking next button here i'm going to apply the rules then i'm getting the apply here apply the rules to database data are applying here it's taking some more time then finally it will be visible and next time calculating the values here I'm getting get values will be calculating here it also having some more time to take to loading the database after finishing this process, the data will be displayed here in this uh, text that means a table. Then it having rules, features, support, confidence and lift values. So in, after loading this process, I am getting the support values. It has to be displayed here. Then confidence value also I am getting here. Then lift values to be calculating here the values then finally graph the chart processing times processing time seconds in database that that process finally i'm getting the data so will be approaching the fpg thank you